This podcast is part of the Pull Up a Chair podcast network. Let's build community through connection, conversation, and collaboration. Hi, I'm V. And I'm Ryan. Welcome to Cringe With Me. Do you shudder internally when you witness a Karen going off on some innocent service industry worker? Do you consume bad fan fiction and or have tattoos from your favorite shows? Do you strain to listen in on awkward date stories? Is your family the worst and you just don't want to feel alone? Then we have the podcast for you. Cringe With Me. I'm just- All right, since uh, Ryan stole a post of mine last week. I didn't steal a post. That one wasn't even new. So, you know, if you hadn't used it, that's on you. Snooze, you lose. Well, I have one that is fairly new. So, hopefully, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway. Yeah, hopefully what? What? <laughs> I don't know. What does that mean? I don't know. Anyways. What are we hoping It's for? another Reddit one. It's from True Off My Chest. Oh, this sounds good. I don't even know about that subreddit. Yeah, so yeah, that well, I think that's where I was going with it. Hopefully you don't know where the subreddit, subreddit is, so that way you can't steal my stuff anymore. Mm. Yeah, off my chest seems like a pretty good place to get some cringe content. Let's see what you got. All right. I ruined my mom's life and reputation is the title of the post. Oh, damn. Okay, <laughs> that's a place to start. Let's go. Right? Okay. I am a 40-year-old female. Okay. My dad is 63 and my mom is 60. Is it, Every time we talk about ages, I do the math in my head. I'm like, so, okay. All right, yeah, okay. They were 20 and 3 and 20 when they had her. Cool. Yeah. Got it. They have been married for 43 years. Damn. I have six siblings. A 42-year-old female, 38-year-old female, 34-year-old female, 20-year-old male, two 20-year-old male siblings, and then one 18-year-old male. So it sounds like they have three girls up front and then... Three boys right after. I just realized something, that if what? his mom is 60 and they've been married for 43 years, she was 17 when they got married. Yeah. Oof. Okay. My grandmother was also 17. That's yeah. wild. It's so wild for me to think about. Like, I know it's it was normal, but it, it feels so abnormal now where people are, like, you know, getting married in their 30s. And right? Stuff. Like, so, oof. All right. Anyway, continue on. I have been with my own husband, who is a 39-year-old male, since I was 15. I got pregnant at 17. We moved in with my parents right afterwards. Oh, wow. I gave birth to my now 22-year-old daughter. We got married when I was 18 shortly afterwards. My father passed away after our wedding, and we left his ranch-style home. Oh, and he left his ranch-style home to my father. I think she meant my grandfather passed away. Yeah, that must be it. Because, like, wait, your father's 63 but also dead, huh? (laughs) I mean, he'd be 63 and dead. I don't... Yeah, but not if... Yeah. Not if they died 20 years ago. (laughs) Oh, yeah. So he goes back into it right here. My grandparents built a house right next to my parents' house when they retired. My parents decided to live with us in this house and told me that this would be my inheritance. My husband and I had no issues with this. We went on to have more children, Mm -hmm. and I am currently seven months pregnant with my last child. So in addition to their 22-year-old female daughter, their firstborn... They have a 20-year-old male child, a 14-year-old female child, and a 5-year-old female child, and she's currently pregnant. Wow. So this is... kids for 20-something years? That's yeah. wild to me. That's well, like, not normal. <laughs> both of the par- the parents had a bunch of kids, and she's having a lot of kids. Wow. So it's so interesting because... I mean, like, again, that's not super abnormal or anything. It's just interesting to me because, like, I have a brother who's 11 years younger than me. Yeah. And that feels like a huge age difference. I can't imagine a 20-year difference with my sibling. Right? Like, that's not a sibling anymore. That's like your child almost. Something. That's wild. Okay, continue. Weird. I thought I had a good marriage. Oh, no. That's never a good way to start a sentence. We were intimate more than twice a week. We went on date nights, we bought each other gifts, and we never fought. My entire world was shattered on New Year's Eve when I returned home early from a girl's trip I had taken with my best friends. I walked into my bedroom to find my mom having sex with my husband. Oh no, I can't. Why? 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 Okay. My mother screamed at me to get out of their bedroom, which really shook me. What? Just give me that one again. (laughs) My mother screamed at me to get out of their bedroom, 
which really shook me. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so yeah. let's just reestablish what's going on. I don't know how on. to unpack that, so. Mom had a lot of kids. She had <laughs> a lot of kids. She has a very horny family. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, right? Everybody's getting it on. Yeah. And no shame with being horny or whatever, but maybe don't sleep with your daughter's husband. That seems a little uncouth. Unfortunately, my daughter was home in her bedroom, getting ready to go out to a party. She ran out and whis- and witnessed it all. She even saw my mother, wrapped in nothing but a bedsheet, run out of our house into her house next door. My daughter was devastated and went to my sister's house. I asked her to not say anything until I talked to my husband first. I had to get the truth from him. He told me that my mom seduced him when we were 18 and living in their house. Oh, so it's been going on a long time. They've been having unprotective sex at least once a month since before we got married. Okay. I ran the math and was horrified because due to that timeline, it meant that my twin brothers and my youngest brothers could potentially be my husband's. That's a lot to unpack too, okay? I immediately called my dad and told him to come to my house without my mom. I made my husband confess and my dad was devastated. He and my mom were high school sweethearts. Needless to say, we could hear my mother screaming from her house when he confronted her. He then told my sister, and she and I decided to have her throw a party for the whole extended family, and my ex's family as well. At the party, I had my 22-year-old female daughter take all the kids to our basement and put on a movie, leaving only the adult children and siblings. And I told everybody exactly what they had been doing. How did... So, I mean, like, I get the idea here, but I can't imagine that both her husband and her mom didn't know this was going to happen, and why would they show up? I, ugh, what? <laughs> like, imagine, it's like, oh, so it says they're a party, let me make a cash roll to bring. This is a wild family reunion, <laughs> but all right. Cool. <laughs> oh, God. What a weird, oh, my God. I, I, I wonder if these kids are going to get paternity tests to find out if they're... There's a lot to read still. Okay, keep going. Most of the family is on my side, except for my three youngest siblings and my ex's entire family. They say that I am the asshole for dropping this publicly during what should have been just a family gathering. Word got out, and my mom's best friend, who is a leadership at my mom's church, a church that she's been going to since she was a young child, My mom has since been let go as the children's pastor, where she has been working for the last 30 years. I've essentially ruined her reputation in life. My dad kicked her out. She's now living with one of my sisters. And lastly, my dad insisted on DNA tests for the three youngest boys before he considered doing anything about their marriage. The twins are my husband's biological children. Wow. I have since kicked him out, and he is living with his parents. My father and I discussing moving me into the larger house, and him selling my grandfather's house, and him giving me the money to buy a new house entirely somewhere else to get rid of all these memories. Because remember, OP and her husband were living with the parents. Yeah. And then they all moved into the grandparents' house, and then eventually OP and the husband moved back into the... Yeah. So they're all living next door to each other, canoodling. Lots of canoodling. This is wild. My husband is appalled and furious that I... What is he appalled? Yeah. Oh, I'm so upset. (laughs) My husband is appalled and furious that I have broken up our family over this. And he's also upset that apparently he has seven kids instead of just our five. I'm going to be taking half of his business that he started with his father since I put up half the money to start it in the first place. And once I take full control, he is fired from there as well. In my state, all marital access, including businesses, are also split 50-50. So even if I didn't put up the money, he owes me this. Since the house was always in my father's name, never my name or my husband's names, he will not get any money from that sale. Neither will my mother, since she inherited the, since he inherited the assets, and those are not subject to split during a divorce. My mother 
is likely also not going to get any alimony since our state is a no-fault divorce state. And we have evidence. Wow. I am now a month removed from this situation, and I'm still extremely bitter and angry with everyone. Especially my mother and my husband. I find it awful that I am being called a whore and being shamed by his side of the family. And she has done so much worse than me and feels like is getting away with all of it. I despise my ex with everything in me. Both he and my mom deserve each other. He got my mom pregnant less than a week after getting me pregnant. And while I thought it was so cute and fun that I shared a pregnancy experience with my mom, she was also carrying my children's half-siblings. He had broken all trust I had ever had in men and being faithful. I have already procured a good lawyer and am working on getting the divorce under wraps. My twin brothers and one of my sisters and my ex's entire family have gone no contact with me and my other minor children believing that we are the toxic ones in this situation. What? The rest of the family is on my side. Her own kids are taking the dad's side? The dad who was cheating with the her her grandma? <laughs> Not just cheating. Cheating with that's grandma. That's next level. That's, that's like, that's got to be some conditioning or, or grooming of some kind. Something. It's like, how would you ever? I don't know. I mean, I guess we don't have full context here, but Wow. They're such a clearly at-fault group. How is anyone taking their side? I've also developed ulcers and digestive issues because of all the stress that I'm under. Yeah, that's not surprising. I've offered to take the oldest of my children and myself to family therapy, and we're all working on ourselves internally. My 14-year-old knows that we're getting divorced, but I'm trying to shield the younger ones from the exact reason why. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, your young kids are going to take dad's side if they don't know what's going on. Yeah. That makes sense. The youngest that I'm going to, I am plan to tell is the 14-year-old, because I feel like she's old enough to make a decision, but I also don't want to damage her relationship with her father. I told my kids that it's okay to love their dad, even if it hurts me. So... But the oldest two have cut him off 100%. Yeah, which is not surprising. I don't plan to tell the youngest children until they are at least teens. And I hope that everyone truly agrees on this and to not spill any beans until I say so. That's wild. As for how I had no idea this affair was going on, my husband confirmed with me that he would have sex with my mom in the church room where she taught children. What? In their cars, at motels, and when I helped pay for my husband's office for his job there too wow this is wild they started doing it routinely when i was young to teach me a lesson what what lesson and how is it teaching a lesson if she doesn't know it's happening that doesn't make any sense it was pure happenstance that i came home on one of the rare occasions they did it in a bed also they were doing it while the daughter was home you're right which is also oh. nuts oh my god like this is a wild story i like that they did blasphemy to the list that was great love that nice, yeah nice little toss in there but this is madness like there, there's a reason there's so many freaking kids in this family yeah i'm just hesitant to believe it honestly this kind of seems not real the hardest thing for me is that my own mother would do this to me and would continue doing this to me for years and not caring when it all blew up in her face and that she'd be in destroying my entire family. Edit. Also to add insult to injury, my husband confirmed in one of our mediated conversations that the affair started when I apparently made him mad. He didn't tell me and instead vented to my mom when they were alone. She confirmed that they had sex that night. He loved it and then pursued her after pursued her after that he said he would have divorced me but he knew he'd get cut off from her and that she was so much better at sex than me so he stuck it out being with me so he could get at her i was a wow. decent enough placeholder of all the betrayals and low blows this statement will keep me up at night tldr 
and mom fucked my husband for 22 years, got her pregnant with twins, and continued the affair up until I caught them on New Year's Eve while being seven months pregnant. I publicly exposed them, and my mom lost her job, her marriage, and hopefully is eventually homeless. This is wild. Right? Right? This seems almost too sensational, but holy shit. Like, wow. Just wow. Like, you... Also, to comment on one thing in particular, you're not... If you tell the kids, and the kids decide they don't want to have a relationship with their father, you have not ruined the relationship with their father. He did, by his actions. Right? You being honest about a thing that happened, even if it doesn't concern them, like... That's not on you. That is on him. This was ultimately him and your mother's decision to do this. Like, for years. You are, not, you are not at fault, and you're not at fault for telling people. I do think the party announcement was maybe a little... <laughs> I loved it. A little much. <laughs> Going back to me being a petty bitch, I loved it. Yeah, this is definitely, this is a petty party for sure. I would set it up like it's a potluck and have everybody bring their favorite meals. Oh, I... Dress up. Black tie only. Man, the psychological damage that this would have done is uh, is absurd. This is just... Yeah, this is mind-blowing. You love it. It's like, you ruined two marriages and a bunch of children all at once. Like, just bam. Just throw it all on the fire. Like, wow. Burn the houses down. Also, what kind of mother... Like for years. Oh my god. Like that's amazing. That's that's amazing. Yeah. I'm blown away. I I honestly doubt the reality of this. I feel like this can't be real. Just enjoy it with me. This seems like this seems like a novel. But this like, seems like a bad novel. It, it's one of those things that's so bad that you can't imagine a person would actually imagine it. Like it's so bad it has to be real. I mean, people imagine all kinds of terrible things. I, I, people can come up with the weirdest stuff. I just... They're all bunnies. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Can't can't stop. Can't stop. Won't stop. I want to know. The the edits or the updates got taken down by moderators. Mm, but there okay. were, at one point, updates. Ooh, interesting. Yeah. What were the updates got taken down? Breaking community guidelines. Hmm. What community guidelines? Usually they have to cite the community guideline that was broken. Inciting violence. Inciting violence. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I oh, wonder know. if the family got into the comments. Maybe. Maybe the maybe someone in the family found out about it and they started fighting in the comments about it. That would be. That's all I can think of. Because otherwise, what inciting violence? Unless the story was about. Or their... they doxed the partner. Oh, that's possible too. Yeah. I mean, I'd go and do a little vandalism. But I'm a hoodlum. So. Yeah, I'm like, I, I I, don't care how deep someone's drama is. It's not mine. I don't want to touch it. But, but it's like the Maury show, Maury show, but like real life. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that in my life. I'm good. I'm good. It's funny because like we do this, you know, podcast about other people's cringy drama. But I like talking about them. I don't, don't want to be involved in it. <sighs> so good. I'm well, like part of that. This is your last shot, though, next week. Because this is a good one. This is a good one. I can see you taking this. I'm, I'm not going to lie. But... I don't think this comes anywhere close to last year's winner, so I think I still got. I'm still I'm, okay. okay. I still, I'm still in this race. You can't, well, you can't take it in January. It's not gonna happen. We'll see. I'll see you guys next week, and hopefully Ryan comes out swinging. Oh yeah, I got something for you. All right, bye. Goodbye. Thanks for listening. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at cringe with me. Go follow us so you can vote every month on which story you thought was the cringiest. I'm gonna win. <sighs> no, I'm gonna win. I'm Patrick. And I'm Andrew. And I'm Christian. And I'm Allie. And we are Rad Theater, a podcast where a bunch of friends play role-playing games and share a single brain cell, and the GM doesn't always have it. 
Oh, and theater spelled the correct way. T-H-E-A-T-R-E. 